The sperm bank laboratory staff analyzes the semen sample before freezing it. This is called semen analysis, and it's done to make sure that the sperm you're storing are healthy. The amount of semen produced is measured in milliliters. Now, the amount of semen in ejaculate varies for lots of reasons, like being nervous or having frequent ejaculations. Generally, semen volume is about 2 to 5 milliliters. This is not a large amount, about 1 half to 1 teaspoon. The first part of a semen analysis is the sperm count, and the lab staff will do exactly that. They'll count all the sperm in 1 milliliter of semen. A normal sperm count is 20 million or more sperm in each milliliter of semen. The next step measures how many of the sperm are moving. Only moving sperm are healthy and able to fertilize a woman's egg. Usually, 50% or more of the sperm are moving. The sperm is then studied under the microscope to see how they look. Healthy sperm have an oval head and a long moving tail that whips back and forth in order to swim. Now, most of the sperm in any one sample are misshaped. Often, only 15% or more of sperm have normal shapes. Misshaped sperm usually aren't capable of fertilizing an egg. The lab staff uses the volume, concentration, and motility to determine the total modal sperm count. Sometimes this is called TMS. Now, this number is important because it tells how many sperm are available for freezing. The health center may contact you shortly after the collection to talk about the sperm that you banked. Based on this information, they may make recommendations about the need for additional collections, if any.